Steady on. I planned a perfect second outing for us. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? <laughs> it's not building. I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? He's hired a fiendishly talented woman, one Hattie Cadwallader, to procure works for him. She has excellent taste. We're kidnapping her for the sin of being Starrick's collector? Oh, my dear, no. We are kidnapping her not because she loves art, but because she finances Starrick's enterprises by selling it. One must never mix art and money. Wait for me with the carriage. I'll pay her a visit. Explain. Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw him 
pinch it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? Shards down the sewers, sir. Circle nonsense, I'm sure. Propagated by those who failed to embrace. Of course it's sewers. Why the bloody sewers? And tell him too that I'm growing tired of these working conditions. Wasn't Starrick who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. If one of the productions pleases me, I am over the moon. Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. See 
Villains mixed up, Mr. Raffles. The man you work for is the real villain here. My most fragrant raffles. How very good to see you again. Got a well, Roth. It's into the back with you then. Who is this Lyris that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solid. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swineborn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the back, and you cut Starrick's ties to the police force. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland Yard. Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. It's really as simple as that. Shouldn't you be at home? No, no, she's not there anymore. Oh, oh, what's that about? Looks like there's been a killing. Maybe two.
seek out. A while. You've really let yourself go. Shame. No, now it's into the back with you. <laughs> Let's go. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Alhambra. I have more amusements planned for us. This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Starrick's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. Like Starrick built a world around his own desires, and so we lose the ability. In you. you must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together.
That's one. Someone's here. We have an intruder. Set. You took a wrong turn somewhere, boy. Here we go. Let me put a bullet in him. There is no way for you to win. Are you and done? Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready. Wait. Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starek uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon. You will understand what it is to be free, as I am. 
Light him up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not. Gifts, sir, from Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation.
visceral and highly disturbing. Do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. We'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. What's doing there, love? Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by! We have a volunteer, a 
A big round of applause for this brave, brave man. Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. If he's not will hit several targets placed around his head. Intensifies the second time. The hunter now a search for want rather than need. Enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear. Burn! Burn! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Don't hide from me, darling. Join me for the finale. What a ghastly smell. Jacob, my dear.
What a night. The stuff of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? <laughs> I'll never make it out alive. Damn this place from hell to Hackney. I'll never make it out alive. has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell, Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn.
piece of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're gonna move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for old time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. of Evie, treating me like a child. Steady on.
force. You are. Easy now. Can they be? The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. on the right track.
Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been. But still. Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance. the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. What a carriage you got there. Where did you buy it, if, if you don't mind me asking? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes, and your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you? Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course.
Shun Party. Careful. Don't want to get blood on the uniform. I must take care not to ruin the uniform. You're too slow! I can't
call for the Black Mariah if I must. Oi! Stop there, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Charming. Now to hide the body. <laughs> Freddy, here I come. Steady on. Oh, that driver is insane! 
One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. Go on, girl. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated.
Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. What a mistake. There you go. There you are. Slowly. Be our cause, Miss Fry. Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. Come on. Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people. It was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. 
That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green know? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. <laughs> To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here, Your Highness? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my homeland subject to the day, sir. May God bless you. Only one more remains, to the Gladstone residence. Do you miss India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. For truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again too. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh! You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Your Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule India and certainly not the duty of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for being so frank, but one must not tell lies to a king. Your... Much luck, Your Highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad, broken even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness. How 
are you there, Evie?
Being so weak. Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. Go on in, so sir and madam. Dear man, I am soon to become prime minister. What in the blazes is our carriage doing here? Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. You... The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. Rubbish to believe that things are fine. 
I can't do this on my own. You got a problem here. Don't you bloody run! I'll crush you like a beetle! You are going to escort me. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? My arm! Quiet, and I won't hurt you. My arm! Good will cover that. that. Trouble? You mark my words. Let's do this Gentle. the easy way. Congratulations. How wonderful. The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam. mouth closed and this will be over before you know it who are you my arm act something needs sorting over there that hurts no no she's not there anymore easy now my arm the lady is with me much obliged madam get her You are going to escort me. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? Gentle. I don't want to hurt you. Walk. That hurts. The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam? Got a problem here.
ever entered politics. You have a good English name. <laughs> Thank you. But Helga wants the child to have a German name. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? You're not allowed here. The very notion that a person of my status could be accosted in this my house. What's going on? Let's go for a stroll. My arm. That hurts. Scream, and it will be your last. That hurts. We're I, going to take a walk. That hurts. Good gracious. Huh? Is that trouble? That hurts. She's not there anymore. The lady yeah, is with me. Live. Much obliged. Madam? My arm. We're going to take a walk, you and I. That hurts. Scream and it will be your last. My arm. Act naturally. My arm. That hurts. Quiet, and I won't hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Walk. No noise, just walk. That's all there is to it. There's conservatives and liberals, Whigs and radicals. But just remember, <gasps> let's go for a no stroll. Red, white, or blue. What the PM says goes. <laughs> The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. Stop her! Stop her! 
If you want to live, don't make a sound. Easy now. Don't struggle. <gasps> Let's go for a stroll. Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally oh. pushing the Queen down a flight of stairs. I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, do, 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 do. come with me. <laughs> Your Majesty, may I present Miss uh, Evie Fry? You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick. You've had your fun, but the game is over. Uh, uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing, but the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. The problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, then he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up. And mine begins. Freddy, Starek peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there. Oh. 
Hook. Right. I'll kill the imposters and rescue the captives. How? It's impossible to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith. to find the real royal guards. Ooh, dancing. And with Staric, no less. How awkward that must be. Hold still for a moment. Oh, I'm gonna kill you 
Thank you all. The key to the vaults is one must lead with one right foot. Oh, my! Everything all right, my dear? Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> Here, the location of the vault, go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Exploiting, I warn you, my boy. But you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pace. Jacob! 
don't know how to use the artifact. rectify my mistake.
London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you going to wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Abilene, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abilene informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? I invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry. Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on.
That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the Shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want him to bleed. Us, them that told us lies of their bravery, them that preached our progress and put us in the poor house. <laughs> them done the horrid murder on bloody stages, them that loudly crowed their humility, lords and dames that sung in the chapels on a summer <laughs> All quiet now, their mouths are stopped up. Hold still, goddammit! They lie flung in rats and make no sound. Only the mission matters! Understood! Those who fought Sean! for something better Those who taught by how they live Loved ones taken long before this world Galena, we need an exit! To the vault! Our targets are righteous! We need to go! Now! Understood. Shroud! Forget the bloody shroud! Stay with me, Bex. Please! We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the Shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? He's not... And the shroud is wrapped around the body. It scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're not making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all.